black and white portrait tool focuses on capturing the essence and emotion of a subject using shades of grey. By eliminating color, the attention is drawn to the subject's facial features, expression and interplay of light and shadow. It's a timeless and classic approach that has been used for decades even before the advent of color photography. It's a powerful and timeless medium that continues to be appreciated for its ability to evoke strong emotions and convey the essence of a person. In this masterclass, we will explore the art of black and white portrait photography with your smartphone, and we will focus on some of the most important aspects of managing a black and white portrait session. And whether you are a beginner or an experienced photographer, this masterclass aims to enhance your skills and help you to develop a unique artistic vision. To create the portraits for this Xiaomi masterclass supported by Leica, I will be using my new Xiaomi 13 Ultra with focal length ranging from 46mm to 120mm, which are perfect to capturing incredible portraits. So, what are some of the most essential elements for me in black and white portrait? First of all, light. That is crucial in black and white portrait as it plays a fundamental role in shaping the overall look, emphasizes form and texture, sets the mood and atmosphere. It directs attention to facial expression and contributes to the timeless and impactful nature of the image. It is a powerful tool that photographers use to create visually compelling and emotionally resonant black and white portraits. When I create my portraits, the first things I have to decide is whether to shoot in ambient light or artificial light. The difference between ambient light and artificial light in portrait photography lie in the source, the quality and the control. Ambient light provides a natural organic feel with its softness and sometimes unpredictable nature, while artificial light offers a controlled lighting setup enabling photographers to create specific effects and mood. Both approaches have their advantages and can be used creatively to achieve different visual outcomes in portrait. To capture beautiful portraits in ambient light, often all you need is a window or a door facing outside to gently let in diffused light. This is a setup that you can achieve anywhere, even at your own home. If the surrounding where you take photos are too cluttered with furniture or elements you don't want to include in the picture, you can set up a small backdrop behind your subject to instantly create a classic black and white photography look. This way, you will have created your own little studio for ambient light portrait. Of course, there are so many variables at play, but I would like to suggest you a simple approach that will bring you great satisfaction. Position the subject approximately to one, one meter and a half away from the window or the door, with a 45 degree angle in relation to the light source, and you will have one of the most beautiful light in the world. From there, you just need to focus on composition and capturing their expression, which we will discuss further in this masterclass. On the other hand, artificial lightning requires a basic understanding of the different light sources available on the market. This can be divided in two major categories, flash lightning and continuous lightning. Over the years, I have changed my approach to artificial light, transitioning from flash to continuous lightning system based on LED lights. The reason behind this shift is that continuous light allow me to construct a more complex lighting setup with great precision and speed, which are crucial for my work. Using artificial light also allows me to introduce multiple light sources into the scene, increasing the complexity of the lighting setup. In addition to the main light, for example, it is possible to include a backlight behind the subject to highlight its contours and enhance its volume. There are dozens of possible lighting setups that can involve a high number of light sources at the same time. However, my suggestion is not to go overboard and limit yourself to one, two or no maximum than three light sources. Remember that more complex is the lightning and more challenging it becomes to allow the subject to express themselves freely through their poses. 
So my advice is to keep the lighting setup very simple and focus on the composition and the ability to capture the emotions of your subject. These are exactly the topics we will discuss in the next two chapters of this masterclass. In black and white portraiture, placing the subject in the center of the frame is quite a common but powerful way to compose your picture. On the other hand, placing the subject on the side of the frame is a compositional technique that can create visual interest and add a sense of dynamism to an image. It involves positioning the subject away from the center of the frame toward one of the sides. By placing the subject off-center, it breaks away from the conventional and asymmetrical composition, introducing a sense of asymmetry and imbalance. This can create a more visually compelling and dynamic composition, as the viewer's eyes is drawn to the subject and then encouraged to explore the rest of the frame. Putting subject on the side of the frame can also create a sense of openness and space. It allows the inclusion of negative space on the other side of the frame, which can enhance the subject present and emphasize their importance within the composition. This technique can be particularly effective when capturing black and white portraits, as it can add a sense of narrative and evoke curiosity. It can create a visual tension or dialogue between the subject and their surrounding, as the viewer wonders what the subject is looking at or what lies beyond the frame. However, it is important to note that the choice of whether to place the subject on the side of the frame or in the center depends on the desired effect of the story you want to convey through your photograph. Both centered and off-centered composition can be powerful and impactful, so it's important to experiment and find what works best for each specific image and situation. Another very important aspect is the photographer's point of view in relation to the subject. In fact, we should not think that the only possibility is to capture it at eye level. We should also consider different angles, such as taking a photograph from above or from below. Shooting from below the eye level can create a sense of power, dominance or even vulnerability, depending on the context and the subject. The upward angle can make the subject appear taller, more imposing, or evoke a sense of strength. But it can also emphasize certain facial expressions or create unique and dramatic composition. However, excessive use of this angle may distort facial proportion or convey an unflattering impression. On the other hand, a portrait taken from a higher position involves photographing the subject from a viewpoint above the eye level. This perspective can have different effects, such as making the subject appear smaller, more approachable or even submissive. The downward angle can also accentuate certain facial features, create a flattering composition or convey a sense of intimacy. However, it may not be suitable for all subjects or situations, as it can sometimes diminish the subject's presence or impact. Lastly, also the tilt of the camera can add an additional layer of storytelling when creating a portrait. A perfectly straight camera suggests a sense of rigidity, while slightly tilting the camera adds a dynamic element that, when combined with a more joyful expression, can amplify its intensity. Finally, I would like to talk to you about the conversation with the subject which I believe is one of the most important things to reveal some of their personal aspects. A portrait is not just about capturing the physical appearance of a person, but also about conveying their essence and personality. Through conversation, you can gain insight into the subject's interest, experiences and emotions enabling you to capture their true essence in the photograph. Conversation will suggest you ideas for composition, pose and expression, resulting in a more meaningful and genuine portrait. Of course, our ability to engage in conversation depends greatly on our character and our willingness to open up. 
If you feel that your shyness or insecurity is holding you back, know that there are no magic words. It's important to put yourself out there, accept initial failures, and understand that developing conversational skills is just as essential for portrait photographer as any other technical aspect of photography. As we have seen, there are many variables in a black and white portrait session. It may be challenging to control them all, but this is what makes portrait photography such an interesting gen. It tests not only our technical skill, but also our empathy and the ability to tell stories through others. The aspects we have examined are all crucial. Light, which allows us to determine the style of the photo. Composition, which can significantly influence the mood and narrative and our ability to engage in conversation, a fundamental element for evoking looks and expressions full of emotions and meanings. Together, these elements shape the art of black and white portraiture and offer us a powerful means of storytelling. Before we conclude, I would like to leave you with an exercise to put into practice what we have covered in this masterclass. I invite you to create a series of black and white portraits of your friends using ambient light from a window or a door with the goal of capturing their essence. Simple lightning will allow you to focus on composition and their expression, which are essential elements for telling their stories in a personal and evocative way. We have reached the end of this Xiaomi masterclass supported by Leica, dedicated to black and white photography applied to street and portraiture. I hope I've inspired you to experiment with these two beautiful gens of photography using your smartphone. I wish you will capture stunning photos and dedicate as much time as possible to this wonderful passion. Ciao. Xiaomi.